Hello, all. Welcome back to the Midnight Memo. Hello. Um, we are just hanging out on Kristen's couch. <laughs> don't mind me leaning away from the mic so you don't hear me sipping water. <laughs> We're a really professional podcast mm-hmm. at this point. Apparently, learning how to podcast is hard. <laughs> apparently. apparently. Apparently, you can't decide to start a podcast in like... That was, yeah, we literally took two weeks. We're like, we're going to do it. And we just fully sent it. Yeah. We should have planned more. A little bit. But we didn't. But we did it. Like, we're doing it now. We're doing the thing. And I'm proud of us. Yeah. We are. We're approaching 1 a.m. as we're recording. Oh, nice. My name is Claire. And I'm Kristen. And we, again, we are so excited for you to be joining us. We are now approaching, yeah, episode six, which is kind of crazy to think about. Because it does still feel like we just started. Yeah. Which we did. Like, I think we're probably at a month and a half, two months of actually doing podcast stuff. I want to give ourselves a little pat on the back. Oh, for sure. At this point, I was like, we haven't officially introduced ourselves to the podcast. I know that a lot of our audience are friends and family, so they know who we are. But we do have a few handful of listeners that are probably people we don't know overseas. So I thought it would be a perfect time for us to introduce ourselves more in this podcast. So without being conceited, this podcast will be about us. Um, oh my gosh, my friend, she messaged me. She's like, oh my gosh, I finally listened to your Valentine's Day episode. Yeah. May I just say that you two are very chaotic together? <laughs> I was like, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god, she doesn't even know how much chaos was behind. Like, editing that episode, genuinely, Claire, I can't even express to you how hard that was because of how many tangents. I mean, you know, because you were part of that, you were the other half of that conversation. Strangely, I was there. <laughs> but, like, literally, guys, we had maybe an hour and a half of recorded audio, mm-hmm. cut it down to a 20 minute episode. Yeah. And we had a chop, chop, chop that ass down. <laughs> I yeah. mean, it's fun like like your friend said it's all in it's the beauty of the chaos and i love it it's where our minds go it's when... what i thrive off of actually the yeah. k in my name is just for chaos and i know that's not correct but i'm stealing it because i don't want you to have it because <laughs> <laughs> i'm petty like that. it's fine i'll give it to you <laughs> thank you when you and my name is for caffeine that's so true that's that's a great one yeah i rely way too much on caffeine a little bit but it's fine it's fine you're here now you're here (laughs) you're doing great you're doing well that's all that matters how how are you doing on energy today yeah today not too bad but i definitely hit like an afternoon slump just kind of felt meh kind of just dredging through Mm -hmm. but we had dance class today felt a lot better 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 after that better and better better and better than ever yeah now i'm kind of chilling We'll see how I feel after this convo. <laughs> yeah. It'll either revive me or I'll talk myself out and I'll sleep so well. What about you? How's your energy doing today? It's been good today. Well, it started out real bad. <laughs> um, mostly because I was catching up on The Bachelor last night. Of course. And I'm watching it on Hulu, but the mm-hmm. Hulu account I have still has commercials. So like when it's supposed to be an hour, when I watch it, it's like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minute episode. I think it is an hour and a half without all the commercials. Then maybe even longer. So it's probably two hours like it, like when it airs live, right? It's two hours because of commercials and stuff yeah. like that. So it's probably close to that for you. Yeah. So basically I was, I thought I <laughs> had watched and I was caught up, but no, I was two episodes behind. So. <laughs> And I accidentally spoiled an episode for Claire. <laughs> it's fine. I was like, fuck, I need to catch up to Claire. So I was like binging them last night and she was at dance practice and I was texting her about it. And about an hour later, you're like, what episode are you watching? And that's when I realized, oh shit, you have, you are not in fact caught up and you lied to me. I, yeah, I lied to myself. I really, really thought did. I was you caught really up. You really did. You were so not caught up. But now we're caught up. Amazing. And so much drama. I love it. I love watching drama vicariously. I hate being involved with it. It makes me want to like scoop my eyes out with a spoon. But watching it yeah amazing could not get enough of it it's yeah i'm on like the same page i was saying earlier that i'm honestly too lazy <laughs> to be involved in any drama yeah because it just takes so much energy out of me so i'm like you win <laughs> good on ya i'm gonna go sleep now and then i don't fair when we were talking earlier my partner overheard us and he asked have you guys even ever gotten in a fight before and we both looked at each other and we're like 
I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think we have. Yeah, I don't think I could fight with you because you're just so chill. I would feel bad about it. I feel like your personality definitely balances out my petty. But I also am a personality where I will match the energy of whoever I'm fighting. If they pull in BS from years ago, it's fair game Mm -hmm. at that point. Mm -hmm. I guess that could be petty in a sense yeah. but yeah it's like does that count as petty because it's like not like you intended for it like you're like oh yeah well, well like roll out the red receipts <laughs> yeah. let me tell you like yeah i don't know i i think therapy um <laughs> has helped me to realize that holding on to resentment anger whatever never works out in my favor yeah. so like i tend to try to forgive as quickly as possible just for yeah. my own health but or it's not even about them it's about you literally i'm like i'm putting myself first being selfish in that way and if anything if they're holding on to resentment or whatever it's now on them because i've yeah. let it go so yeah but what did we want to talk about today well kind of going off of people pointing out our relationship in the podcast which <laughs> yeah. is 80 percent of what birthed it this podcast um, that is a technical term the only thing more fun than saying that is edited it edited i edited it i edited it i edited it she's a beatboxer guy Oh my gosh. But yeah, I guess what we really wanted to talk about was, I guess, dive deeper into deeper, deeper. I'm just calling Mm -hmm. myself out on it now at this point. (laughs) You don't even need to try to tease me. I'm gonna roast myself for it. Yeah. If you had a video camera right now, my eyebrows just went, ooh. (laughs) Yes, deeper. (laughs) There's the delusional. Yeah. English is hard. English is so hard. Uh, It's so hard. And it's the only language I speak. I don't have a reason. (laughs) Like, I have no excuse. Literally. Okay, so I was talking to some of my coworkers, and a lot of them are multilingual. And we were going around the table, listing. they were listing all of the languages that they can speak. And they're like, what about you, Claire? And I was like, sometimes I can speak English, depending on how tired I am. (laughs) It's a real test. Since we are best friends, we wanted to throw it back to like early 2000s. Oh, yes. Right? Where they, the good old days. Yeah. Peak of fashion, colored eyeliners. <sighs> Low rise yeah. jeans. Don't bring it back. God almighty. The leggings under the jean shorts. Under the, under the denim skirts. Yeah. And then you have like the big chunky metal belt yes. over it. Yeah. We're painting the picture. Everyone did the little poof. Like we all tried to do a poof, but like no one knew how to do it. Like we weren't aware of like texture, not texture, teasing. So like it was just like a speed bump on the top of your head. (laughs) Exactly. So our plan was to, if you guys remember the trend from the early 2000s, the best friend tag. Basically, the idea is just having best friends ask each other a list of questions to kind of test their knowledge of the relationship. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But before going into that, I thought we could go over the little story of how we actually met one another. Oh, cute. Do you remember the story? I know we've told it recently. In all transparency, I <laughs> I had to be reminded of how we met. <laughs> but I in mean, my defense, mm-hmm. I feel like all best friendships start that way, you know? Totally. You're just like, I don't even remember how we met, but I just know that we're friends now, <laughs> you know? I don't know where it started, but... Here we are. Yeah, exactly. So we were both engineering students, computer engineering slash computer science. Our university had themed living. Yeah, like living, learning communities. And we lived in the engineering dorm. And this must have been the first or second week of school at this point. And our dorm had thrown together a social event of a sorts. And they were having an event called Pig Out in the Park, which is basically just like food trucks in the park, which sounds great. Great for bonding. So I was coming out of my dorm room and Claire was coming out the doors of the classroom. And as I saw her, I was like, that person... I totally stereotyped you, full disclosure. And I was like, she looks like someone who could be from Hawaii. So I approached Claire as we walked to the park. And we were also with one of our, well, my roommate. The three of us were kind of chit-chatting and walking to take out the park. And that's what I remember. And that's essentially, I don't even know what we talked about. I don't know exactly what happened. So you had walked up to me and she was like, oh, are you local? <laughs> You're like, you're local to what? I was like, to Washington? <laughs> you're like, I was so confused. Have you seen my melanin? <laughs> Do I look like I'm from Washington? Yeah, I was like, I had never heard anyone ask in that way. Like, oh, yeah. are you from here? Like, or, oh, are you from this place? And that's exactly how I knew you were not local. <laughs> yeah, she's like, this bitch. <laughs> 
for reference, I am from San Diego. So <laughs> in case anyone was curious, California, not Hawaii, <laughs> and not Washington. Oh, so yeah. we've never mentioned where you're from. Yeah, there you go. You're from San Diego. We both live in Washington, Seattle now. Yeah, there it is. Do you want to tell your version of how you thought we met? Yeah. So from my point of view, what I remember or the earliest point that I remember us interacting Mm -hmm. in college was so our college basically hosted kind of like a fair. And I think that a group of us from our dorm went there together. Mm -hmm. And that's when I first remember talking to Kristen because so our school had a dance team and they were performing and then after they did their performance they were trying to like pull everyone on the dance floor and um i think kristen and i were talking and then they we both got kind of like pulled into dance with the dance team and stuff and that's how i first remember talking to kristen and then right like after that i learned that all of my roommates were in horrendous so basically like kristen saved me from my own situation (laughs) freshman year and so that's how our real friendship started definitely after that but the best friend tag we thought it would be fun to kind of record an episode so you guys could get to know us we could test each other's knowledge on um each other see if we we are actually best friends are you really my best friend we were lying this whole time we don't this, even know each other oh my god an intervention basically a realization we'll either leave this very happy <laughs> yeah or maybe this will be our first fight tea okay you want to throw me a question do i want to have kids if yes how many yes you want kids so bad and you're gonna be a great mom i can't wait for you to have kids i'm excited for you to have kids i can be the aunt that just spoils them rottenly i would love that too i want that so bad how many i would guess two or three i think you would be aiming for two possibly a third down the line if anything it'd be the uh, classic case of like the first two have like a two-year age gap and then the third one is like five years younger like <laughs> a little a little off but i think yeah two or three yeah yes i initially was like okay i want one child per parent just for maintenance <laughs> When they're young, oh my god, imagine having three toddlers running around. I, I'm i already tired thinking about it. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. So, yeah, one child per hand, one child per parent, you know? like <laughs> yeah. yeah. But definitely, I'd be open to three, I think, once I got a Once grip. you got your stuff situated, the first two are grown up a little. But yeah. that's going to be your spoiled child. That third one, always, especially when it's the big age gap. Like, the first two, they set their footing, and now all you have is your baby that you get to baby baby. That third child, so spoiled. Or the exact opposite, where I'm just like, listen, I already raised your two older siblings. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to hear some of Claire's parenting techniques that she wants to have. Okay. Oh, you have to start with the golden one. You have to start with it. <laughs> Oh, is that the the ring? Yes, the okay, ring. Okay. Here's my thought. Oh my god, I love this one. All right. So, <laughs> once you know your kids get into those early teen years where parties are starting to happen at high school, I want to be what? Yeah, parties, alcohol. No, the legal age isn't until twenty one. <laughs> be responsible, guys. But <laughs> not encouraging. I really loved how my mom never really shielded me from those topics. Mm -hmm. And I think it helped in the long run because I wasn't rebellious in that way. Like I would just tell her, hey, I'm going to a party. And she would be like, call me if you need a ride home. You know, Mm -hmm. situation. I definitely want to be that parent. But my thing is, my kids, even though I'm cool with them going to parties, they have to earn their right to go to the party. How how do they earn their right? (laughs) Well, I'm going to install a boxing ring. (laughs) right the setup and (laughs) they're gonna have to come to me and be like mom i want to go to this party and i'll be like all right but you have to beat me in a fight (laughs) get in the ring (laughs) i'm like you have to earn your way to go to the party (laughs) like if you can beat me in a fight in this (laughs) ring right here you can handle yourself yeah yeah of course yeah so that's my thought we also have a friend named lucy um shout out lucy who wanted to do a injustice Injustice day Day. (laughs) yes lucy we're gonna explain your idea now this This is not about us it's about everything else her idea was basically there's so much unfairness in the world yeah so why not expose your children to that early on so basically she wanted to take the total opposite approach of like how some often parents try to make everything fair for their kids like if one kid does this you need to do that for the other kid or at least like find a equivalent that's about the same and she was like that's not how life works just because for example the workforce like because your coworker gets a promotion that doesn't mean you're gonna get a promotion so just general life yeah, life's, life's unfair fair. 
Yeah, so she's like, there's an injustice day, and I'm just going to do everything the opposite. Make everything so unfair, and <laughs> they just have to deal with it. Wait, I think one of her examples was, in the morning, make pancakes. One kid gets Give it to nothing. One. <laughs> the other gets all of the pancakes. Like, sucks. Life's not fair, Life's dude. Life's not fair. Cook yourself <laughs> breakfast. <sighs> I'm so interested to just see how our generation raises kids. Honestly, not that many of us are raising kids exactly, at this point. Exactly, exactly. We have dogs. <laughs> They're the new children. Plants are the new pets. And rocks and are I the new plants. And I have neither. <laughs> <laughs> I have none of the above. Not even a rock parent? No. Nope. Rip. I don't trust myself that much yet. Rocks are a lot of responsibility. <laughs> yeah, they just sit there. <laughs> but okay, for you, mm. at this moment... <laughs> You don't want any kids. You want to be the fun aunt, which I wholeheartedly support because my kids will need a fun aunt, (laughs) especially when they're tired of fighting me in the boxing (laughs) ring. Aunt Kristen, can we just go get ice cream or something normal? (laughs) Yeah, mom's making me fight her again. (laughs) At this point, yeah, no kids. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if later on you would be open to it, maybe having like one. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to say like never say never, but I think... To my family, I definitely do that because I just, I want to fight against the, like, I'm sure we all- Thanksgiving conversation. Exactly. Like, we've all heard it. We've all heard it a bunch of times, especially if you're, like, in a relationship or something like that. I feel like that's literally the next question. When are you going to get married? When are you going to have kids? I've already had this conversation with my mom. I think I've told you. Like, I was like, you're not going to get children from me. I want to lay this out on the field. Just letting you know ahead of time. Exactly. I'm laying this all out. The only child you're getting from me is of the fur variety. Yeah. A grand dog. Yeah, exactly. My mom has taken it very well. Like, love her so much. Next girl, girl, question. Girl. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I don't know if you'll get this, but I, I just put this down because I have like a million answers for you and I think it's going to be funny. Okay. Which celebrity am I in love with? Oh, I feel like there's, there are a few. I mean, from I'm going straight from the shows that we've watched together. Okay, fair. So you said that you like uh, Marcel from The Originals. Oh. He was so attractive. Gosh. Yeah. I love Ian Somerhalder. I think you also love Ian Somerhalder. I Salmer do. I, I didn't at first because of his character, but... You learn so to pretty. love him. You, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. Yeah, his eyes. His jawline. His jaw. Oh, my God. And he's aged so well. So well. It's insane. Him and his wife are literally gold. Mm-hmm. Criminal Minds, Derek Morgan. Uh, Shamar Moore. <laughs> yes. In love with that man. What a... Oh, oh my God. It's on the tip of my tongue. Tom Holland. Yes. Love him as well. Yes. Trying to think of like all of the other. There's so, there's so many stuff. options. That's why I loved this question. I yeah. was like, I really doubt you can get a wrong answer. Okay. Those are my four answers. Yeah. A good, <laughs> good solid round. Love that. Ooh, for you. I don't know why, but the first thing that came up in my head was the lesbian island. Yes. Yeah. So the first thing I thought of was all our female crushes and Scarlett Johansson, of uh, course. Yes. Mm-hmm. Florence Pugh. There you go. Absolutely. So, so good. Yes, you loved Ian Somerhalder, or you do love him, so he's amazing. You also are in love with Shamar Moore, but yes. this is not going to be interesting if I just like relist the ones that you've listed for me. Right now, my brain is on Jane the Virgin. Justin, I don't remember his last name. He plays Raphael on Jane the Virgin. You thought he was attractive. I thought he was attractive, but... But I don't think he was a celebrity crush. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who else? Oh, Chris Evans, of course. Yes. Gotta go with the Avengers. Chris Evans, who is also Claire's birthday twin. Yes. Fun fact... We do share a birthday. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Just another connection that we have. <laughs> Those are the only ones coming to my head right now too, yeah. All correct. Backtracking to the lesbian island. Yes. Let me explain this concept. <laughs> so w- this concept emerged when I was very young and I introduced it to my mom. But <laughs> I was like, listen, just listen. It's a good idea. It's My lesbian island is basically... An imaginary place where I put all of my women crushes, whether it be I just love them in general, like their personality. I think they're hilarious. I think they're talented. They're beautiful. Or I look up to them. Yes. Ah, There we go. My lesbian island (laughs) varies in age range. Betty White on my lesbian island. She's just such an impeccable woman. Mm -hmm. R.I.P. I I literally, (laughs) when I found out about that, I was like, no one tell Claire because I could not be the person to tell you. Dude, okay, I was shopping. I was holiday shopping. Stop, no And way. My, my boyfriend was just like, Betty White died. And no! I was like, how dare you? <laughs> like, you just ruined my know. day. Ugh. He should have known better. <laughs> yeah, Ugh. he was very apologetic. The damage that he had just caused. I know. If only he knew. I'm like, there was an earthquake on my lesbian island. <laughs> and literally shattered in half. Yeah, so crazy. But yeah, Sandra Bullock's there. Florence Pugh is there. 
Oh, the girl who plays Astrid in Crazy Rich Asians? <gasps> yes, Gemma Chan. Gemma Chan. Her character is rich enough she can have her own sub island. <laughs> yeah. So basically, Lesbian Island just... I think a great outlet just oh, to be like for sure. these are women all the women I admire. Yeah, yeah they absolutely. inspire me in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. Yes, I think more people should have their own lesbian island. But I will TM the idea because I had this idea in like middle school. Oh yeah, and I've been using it ever since then. Yeah. Oh my God, Sarah Paulson. Ah, love her. Julie Andrews. That's yes. who I was gonna say. The Queen of Genovia is always welcome on my island. I her so much elegance as a person. Yeah. Ugh. The fact that she can mattress surf is what sold me. Okay, next question. This one I actually don't I don't know the answer to for you. Oh, okay. Um, do I believe in ghosts and paranormal things? That's so tough. Do you want a wild a guess? Okay, I think yes, you believe in ghosts. I don't know what classifies paranormal. Yeah. To be quite honest, but I do remember when I first met you, or within like the first year of us um, oh, living together. <laughs> Uh, we had a roommate that would whistle all the time at night and you're like don't whistle at night like it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna call like i don't know what the name of the spirits yeah. yeah the spirits are but they're like oh it's gonna it's bad luck like don't do it and i was like what like i've never heard of this before yeah. so that's the reason i think that you do believe in ghosts mm-hmm. absolutely but paranormal i don't know absolutely i do believe in ghosts for paranormal i don't know what differentiates that really from ghosts if there really is a difference, I would think of like the Paranormal Activities series. And in, in yeah. that case, I have conflicting feelings about that whole saga, you know? Yeah. But focusing specifically on ghosts, yeah, I totally believe they exist. For you, I feel like you do, but like more as an acceptance. You're like, yeah, ghosts could be real. Like, but you're not the type of person of like how I'm like superstitious about it. Mm-hmm. You're just kind of like, if they're there, they're there. And if somehow like scientific proof comes out that, oh, they're not real, you'd be like, okay, chill. Like, I yeah. feel like you're very indifferent to the fact. Like, you believe they're there just because it's a possibility, mm-hmm. but not because you strongly believe it. Yeah, I would say that's true. I haven't had any experiences exactly. with ghosts. But yeah, I've never felt threatened by a ghost. So yeah. I've, I don't see them in a negative light mm-hmm. at all. Or I'm not, like, afraid of them if they do exist. Totally. I feel like also where I grew up in Hawaii, there's a lot of ghost lore and, like, superstition mm-hmm. of that sort of a thing. And I grew up on that. Mm-hmm. But it's also scarier when you believe in those things, you know? Yeah. How many brothers and sisters do I have? (laughs) Kristen here has one full brother and one half sister. Mm -hmm. She is technically the middle child, but... For all intents and purposes. For all intents and purposes, yes. She is the older sibling between her and her brother. I don't know the years of part four. Me and Bradley? Yeah. Two. Two? He's turning 22. Why did I think he was so young? Because you met him when he was like still an awkward high schooler. (laughs) I know. I met him for the first time when I visited you in Hawaii. Yeah. And Pokemon Go just came out. Oh my god. That's that's exactly why you think he's still like 16. That's oh my gosh. Yes. So I am a middle slash oldest child. Yes. You get the title of both. Exactly. I get to move it in my favor. Claire is an only child. Wait, the technical term is only lonely. Stop. It's fine. Oh my god, no, that's not I am adopted from China. And when I was younger, I did not understand the concept of adoption. Like, it just completely went over my head. You didn't understand the concept of adoption at the age of three? (laughs) Yeah, crazy, right? (laughs) And so when I got old enough and I wanted a little brother, I was like, Mom, just real quick, get me a little brother. She's like, Claire, I really can't do that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like without going into much detail it takes a long time to explain i was like no 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 no, you don't you can do it yeah i believe in you like <laughs> just go to the store <laughs> just pick, pick me up. up yeah it'll be great but then she got me a dog so <laughs> yeah a I good mean, substitute oh my god it's literally like mulan because the dog's name is little brother <laughs> so cute yeah i mean i had siblings and i still said the same thing to mom. <laughs> i was like can i exchange him for a little sister <laughs> And my mom's like, that's not how it works. A get me, trade. yeah. I was like, just give me a little sister. And she's like, you already have a sister. And I'm like, no, 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 but a little one. And she's like, Kristen, I can't get you a little sister. And I was like, okay, fine. We'll give Bradley back. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we'll get a girl this time. And she's like, that's not how it works. And I'm like, yeah, it is. Hey, you're lying. Yeah. <laughs> the audacity. Yeah, we were we were bold. We were. Oh, okay. Have I ever had surgery? Oh. I don't think so. You've broken your arm. I have broken my arm. Was it monkey bars? No. It, it was... was similar in a similar vein. They had those wheels that would spin yes. and you would like just hang on to it and have a couple kids spin in a circle. Oh, the one we had on our play structure 
the wheel had broken off so it was just like a big bar that stuck out and every all the kids would try to jump and swing off the bar okay but me as a very small child <laughs> i was very overconfident in my jumping abilities confidence tall height small <laughs> literally and i i missed it and then oh, no. landed on my elbow yeah okay yeah i remember you fall yeah. it was a fall and hit your elbows but i don't think you had a surgery i think that was your only like major hurt thing maybe a couple sprains here and there as we all have i actually have had surgery <gasps> what really oh my ear oh i forgot about your ear i was gonna say teeth no you haven't had teeth surgery yeah i mean with some teeth it is a surgery, surgery right really... that's right your ear i forget about that yeah it was great i had to have like this whole head bandage and it looked like it looked a lot worse than it really was was it like a fully around your head like a, yeah, like a sweatband it... thing yeah because they had to completely patch my ear and then have it stay so they had to wrap my head too how long did you have to have that wrap like is that one of those situations where you change it every day or no they kept it on i want to say for four or five days mm. and so they basically had to like slice open the side of my face and like stitch oh. it up yeah but i'm allergic to iodine which is what they bandaged me with when i got my ear and surgery. then you had a huge rash right yeah i had it all over my forehead yeah. all over the back of my neck it's really not great um, and I was like, maybe it's just discomfort because when I got the surgery, I had to sleep sitting up for the next few days. Cause like, if you're laying on the side, oh, in case you rolled on it. Yeah. Oh, I see. So I was like, maybe it's just like, <laughs> I'm tired and like I haven't Delusional been resting well. A yeah. Bit. But when they took the bandage off, I had hives and like everything all over my forehead, my neck. Yeah, it was a good experience. I would say. <laughs> so ten out of ten. Overall. Great time so wild but i have had surgery <laughs> circling back i have yeah. had surgery long yeah long story short i have had surgery have i are we counting wisdom teeth no i'm trying i'm going through all the body parts feet no <laughs> calves no knees i don't think so <laughs> i got my knees extended working my way up i want to say no correct yeah <laughs> yeah i haven't never had a surgery and i hope not knock on wood yeah. yeah i haven't even had my wisdoms pulled so not even there oh tea mm -hmm. do you have to get it or are they like impacted i don't think so last time i haven't gone to the dentist in a while because covid don't tell my mom <laughs> i i was really thinking i don't know why i had like a lot of delusional moments in covid i'm gonna blame pandemic brain but i was like should i just get my wisdoms out just for fun <laughs> <laughs> i think i like fucked up my tooth a little bit and it was like vaguely hurting in the back of my mouth for a couple of days mm -hmm. and by like day two i was like are my wisdoms coming out should i just get it removed should i just have surgery and so i was like should i just do it and then i was like no i can't because no one will like take care of me i thought about it just just for funsies and then the next day my tooth was fine so i was like i was just being dramatic <laughs> <laughs> it's fine <laughs> we moved on <laughs> i have a question for you do i have any strange phobias define strange strange, <laughs> <laughs> strange. I'm like thinking of like spiders, but that's not strange. Yeah. Kind of normal. I don't know. I'm trying to think of specific things. Claustrophobia. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't think of any. I think if anything, it's the normal ones like you were talking about, like spiders or like snakes, like not a fan of those <laughs> things, <laughs> but I don't consider them strange. Okay. I feel like I was the one who killed most of the spiders in our apartment though. For sure. Yeah. I, I was the man. <laughs> yeah. I would not get near them. I would you evacuate. Were, them. Yeah. But you were in the building. You were mostly chill. You're like Kristen. You still were like trying to be cool about it. You're yeah. like. So yeah, I feel like I don't have anything strange necessarily. Ooh, actually birds. I don't like birds. Interesting. What is that called? I don't know. I don't know if there's a word for it. Yeah, they just make me feel uncomfy. Like, if they start flying real close, mm -mm. I'm... Basically, I have the same reaction as most people do with, like, bees. Like, where you're just like, nope. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any strange phobias? Grass. Uh, I don't yeah. know if that's a... Is that a phobia or is that... Not a phobia. I just think it's disgusting. Yeah. Claire... Gross. Hates grass so much. Like, some people are like, during the summer, spring, when things get real nice and it's sunny and warm, people want to take a picnic or like go lay a towel out on the grass and just enjoy the sun. Claire's absolutely not. No. She was like, I, like, I will rather die. I'll... I'll sit on the grass if I have something separating me in the grass. Like, towel, fine picnic thing whatever like tarp great as soon as you feel it though you're yeah like... i can't if i my skin comes into contact with the grass oh it is the worst <sighs> <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs>
I'm having so <laughs> many emotions yeah. right now. She's literally holding her face yeah. in pain of the memory of the last Just time the grass. Of grass. It's so gross. Grass is disgusting. If you think about it. Oh, absolutely. Just take a moment. <laughs> I my brother did baseball. I grew up at the baseball parks, rolling around, all these cockroaches, bugs coming out of it, Ugh. birds Ugh. running through it, dog parks coming through it. Like I know grass is gross when you think about it. Genuinely disgusting. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, we're gonna do one last question uh, for each of us. My question is, what is my favorite breakfast food? Oh. F- Okay, this is tough because you also don't like breakfast. Usually when you wake up, you're just like not hungry. You'll just wait till lunch. But if you do have breakfast, it's usually because like you're with a group of people and they're eating already. Mm -hmm. So you'll take your breakfast of the liquid variety, coffee, something. Yeah. But if you had to be a food, your ideal favorite one would be something bougie, like something (laughs) something you'd get like at a nice brunch place or something. Okay. (laughs) But I can't think of like something specifically. I don't know. I want to say eggs Benedict, and I don't feel like that's the correct answer, but that's the first thing that's coming to my mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, correct that I don't usually eat breakfast. I will start eating probably around lunchtime. And before then, definitely we'll have coffee. If I were to get food, it would be of the potato variety, probably hash browns. Rosemary potatoes or something. Yeah, or like those breakfast potatoes. Mm, Should have thought of the potatoes. Yeah, but eggs Benedict, those are also very good. (laughs) No, no disrespect to that. <laughs> yes. I got I got the gist. That's why it was so hard. I was like, I've literally, I've never seen you eat breakfast. Yeah, it's it's been a minute. Mm-hmm. For you, I'm going off of what you would make in college. college? Ah! No. Was you would make yourself like a cheese omelet and then have the little, what are they called? Little, little smokes? Little, like these mini sausages and like a little bit of rice in the morning. Yeah. And that would be her. And yes. then apple juice. Of course. <laughs> Can't forget the apple juice. Literally, it's my <laughs> kryptonite. I only drink apple juice. I'm not a soda <laughs> person. I'll drink water because hydration. But like the only liquid I consume is apple juice. I'm yes. actually like five. <laughs> we would go to Costco. And we, oh, we, yes. She would come home with these like four bottles. Big, of huge, <laughs> huge jugs of apple juice. <laughs> I'm not addicted. I'm fine. I can stop anytime I want. <laughs> um, yeah, but I wouldn't. I don't know if that's your favorite, but it's definitely what you would make every single morning. I think my favorite would be chocolate chip pancakes. Okay, that's strange because I honestly, when I was thinking about it, I was thinking about pancakes, but then I was like, I don't know. I feel like she's more a savory person than a sweet person. Mm-hmm. Interesting mm-hmm wow look at that you've learned so i'm so proud wow we can actually learn about each other still this is amazing this is the key to a healthy relationship, healthy relationship. we have a, a few more comparison questions that you have yeah i'm trying to pick something that'll like start a debate but the first one is most likely to forget their best friend's birthday and i Me. love yeah i love you but <laughs> you're I'm better at birthdays than you. <laughs> yeah, I'm horrible at dates in general. Fair game. So definitely that's you. You're better with uh, dates. I would forget everything. Um. Ooh, most likely to break a world record. You. Me. For sure, you. For what? I Just don't know. sheer will. Like, <laughs> do you remember your potato challenge that you? you oh, that's Claire? fair. <laughs> Claire had this like spurt for a while in college where she would just invoke. <laughs> challenges upon herself and the most most iconic one is your yeah. your tater tot challenge that you did so we were at costco and we're going through the freezer section and claire sees the costco family size and she says do you think someone could finish that in one sitting and i was like ah, i don't know and she's like i'm gonna do it through that i've never <laughs> seen someone throw a bag of tater tots so quickly into the car <laughs> and but we went back to the dorms and you yeah. microwaved a family pack of tater tots. So she had this massive mixing bowl that she threw yeah. all the tater tots in. And she sat down in the bean bag in the corner of our common room. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do this. And we had an open door policy in our room where we just left our main door open if we were home. And just slowly people would poke their head in and be like, what are you guys doing? And I was like, I'm watching Claire eat a family sized bag of tater tots. And at some point we had like eight people in the room. And everyone was just like cheering you <laughs> on. And she did it. 
In case you're wondering about the end result, she did it. Claire yeah. ate a eight-person family pack of tater tots in one sitting one night. The relationship between me and potatoes is strong. so strong. And based off of that, if one of us is going to set a world record, it will be you on the randomest thing. Okay, that's fair. Uh, most likely to go on Love Island? Ooh, I don't think... Okay, actually, I'm going to say me. Really? Purely for the fact I would just go to fuck shit up. Mm, yeah, that checks. <laughs> <laughs> that... I would be the worst candidate. Everyone would want to vote me off. But not the worst candidate in the sense of like chaos with the other girls. Like You would just mess with the system. You'd be a producer's nightmare. Yeah, I would just make the producers hate their job. <laughs> exactly. So, yes, that would be you. <laughs> Most likely to commit a crime. We've talked me. about this. <laughs> I've already I'd probably com- instigate you though. I'd probably yeah. be like, we should do this. And then you'd be like, okay. And you would send it, but I would check it out at the last <laughs> minute. And that's how you would commit the crime. <laughs> so yes, it would be you, but not for your reason. Who is most likely to get away with murder? This is an interesting question. This is Because so- we both are obsessed we with true crime. We love true crime. I would say you. Damn, really? Only because you're OCD in organization. Mm. I think you'd cover more bases than I would. Mm -hmm. That's fair. The only thing that would out me is my freaking hair. I shed everything. (laughs) I won't be able to clean that up. That's the wear hairnet. (laughs) That's I'll take that. It do be me. (laughs) Ooh, most likely to get too drunk. It says at pre drink, so I'm guessing at the pre game. I'm gonna I'm gonna say you. Yeah, (laughs) I was gonna say me too. (laughs) Because I feel like you. I feel like you really, really need to be in the mood to drink. Like, I had to twist your arm to get you drunk on your 20th birthday when we went out clubbing and everything in Italy. Yeah, I don't love the feeling of being super drunk. So I try to avoid it when I can. Yeah, and (laughs) Um, that's that's very fair. Yeah, you can be graced with that title. (laughs) Thank you. What an honor. (laughs) Most likely to fake their own death. You. Me. You. Me. That's not even a question. You. Were- I've said so many times that if I had the opportunity to, I would drop off the face of the earth. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I'd just escape, be on my own for a while. Do you think you'd come back afterwards? I think I would come back because yeah. I still like need social interaction. But there are definitely times where I'm just so overwhelmed where I'm like, I could go off the grid for like a month. I'll text everyone and say, hey, I'll give you a general location of where I'll be hanging out. But please don't contact me if you Do don't need me. Do not come to find me, <laughs> yeah. please and thank you. I will come back in a month and everything will be fine. Who is most likely to join a gang? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like me, but accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like maybe my people pleasing, I'll be like, sure, like I'll join and like not realize the depth of... <laughs> Before you're this- in too deep. Exactly. <laughs> so I can see myself being like, group of people coming up to me and be like, hey, you want to join us? And I'm like... Hell sure, yeah. yeah, sure. You guys seem like chill people. Why not? And as time progresses, being like, oh no. And I will be so unaware of how to escape. <laughs> Accidentally, would be me. Would be me. My antisocial ass would be like, leave me alone. Someone approaching you to join a gang, you'd be like, leave. Yeah, can you <laughs> not? Are you? Okay, I think for our last little section, we wanted to do this or that, which is kind of like a, a rapid fire question mm-hmm. round. Okie dokie. This or that, Claire. Paperback or ebook? Ebook. Nice. Country or city? Country. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Ooh. Shopping in store or online? In store. Same. Coffee or tea? Coffee. <laughs> I thought maybe tea would have, like, throw you off a little, but yeah. Uh, sleep on the left or the right side of the bed? Left. I guess it's also like, okay, are we looking at it from the headboard, looking at the rest of the bed, or are you looking like... Yeah, if I'm, like, propped up against the headboard, yeah, I'll probably be on the left. Got you. Okay. And then last, sweet or sour? Sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially the last couple of years, my sweet tooth has gone whoop mm-hmm. up. Okay. Ready? No. This or that, Kristen. Toast or eggs? Toast. Ice cream cone or snow cone? Ice cream cone. While walking, music or podcast? Music. Pop or indie? Pop. Swimming or sunbathing? Swimming. Big party or small gathering? Big party. What's worse, laundry or dishes? 
Oh God, I hate dishes. I hate the feeling of wet food. Tea, tea. Yeah. No. I'll take five to seventeen business days to fold my laundry, but I will do it. <laughs> True. Uh, add a movie, candy or popcorn. Popcorn. A horror movie or comedy movie. For the most part, comedy. I feel like you can always keep that as a safe bet, but I love horror movies. But comedy first instinct. Okay, last one. Ocean or mountain? Ocean. Easy. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's kind of the closing to this episode. A lot of random combos. Uh, Thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope that you learned a little bit more about the two hosts of the Midnight Memo. And I'm so sorry for whatever you've learned. (laughs) Yeah. This was super fun, though. Like, if you guys want a part two or anything of the best friend tag, let us know. Thank you so much for joining us on the Midnight Memo and taking this hot mess of a roller coaster. (laughs) with us if you liked our podcast please like subscribe and follow us on this journey at spotify and apple Podcasts or wherever you stream your regular podcasts also feel free to dm us via instagram or tiktok at the midnight memo and feel free to also email us inquiries at the midnight memo at gmail.com if you would like to support our podcast in any way make sure to click that link that's in our podcast description to show your support And don't forget to tune in next Tuesday for our next episode. Bye. Bye.